Hello guys and welcome back to Number 9 Farms. I'm Dawn Gallup and today we're going to be um, freeze drying cranberries. Um, I have got another video on freeze drying cranberries that I used last year for some of our tinctures and our soap. So uh, this year I happened to get, how many pounds was it? It was a 12, 12? 60 pounds. 60 pounds. Okay, 60 pounds of cranberries while I was at the Cranfest which uh, they have a bunch of companies like Ocean Spray and different ones that um, are there selling cranberries, which was a lot of fun. And I'll try to stick some pictures of the kids in the bogs and stuff, which is really cool how they got to go in the bogs. But today we're going to try the uh, roller berry with the cranberries. I do have my little cutting board that is uh, just for using the roller berry on because it does want to have like a little, you can feel the indentations. So I'm gonna freeze them on the trays because um, both my um, freeze dry trays are complete sets, both sets are completely full. And so I'm trying to keep going with my production here. That's fine. All right, guys. So when you want to, when you're going to go ahead and use the roller berry, you want to make sure that the frozen right um, sticker is up, and you want to go ahead and see. I've never tried it with this, so and that's not going to work, Bruce. That was worth a try, guys. So apparently, cranberries are not a thing. They're hard. So that's not going to work with this. I thought for sure it would, but what I did last time is I cut every single one of the cranberries into a, like a little slit before I put them in the freeze dryer. So that does work. So apparently I'm going to have to do that again because they are hard. And I want to be able to use these to make a bunch of different um, jams that I make. The Christmas jam, which is strawberries and cranberries. And also I do the uh, cranberry sauce. All right, guys, so I'm back. I'm ready to uh, get these in the freeze dryer, the cranberries. And first of all, I've already done a tray. Um, got one already loaded up. I've got the cranberries washed over here. So I am starting now. I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this. So you want to fill your tube up all the way. And these are fresh. You gotta remember that, not frozen. They are fresh because I tried it with the frozen ones and it did not work. So, because for some reason, I had in my mind they should be frozen and that didn't work. That was a bust. <laughs> so you wanna turn it on the pulse and you wanna hold your tube down because it goes really fast. So I'll just get you right on down here so you can see. How fast it goes. All right, big noise. Did you see that? That's how fast it went. So, and then I just started loading them on the tray. All right guys, I'm gonna finish getting these loaded and I'll be back. I wanted to stop and show you that it's the slicing blade. But um, if your chute happens to stop where the holes are for grabbing it, like to change out the blades, you want to make sure you just pull that around so that it's not, it won't, the cranberries won't fall through. All right, so I have all five trays full. So I only took one box and a half. So that's pretty good. <laughs> so I've got a lot more boxes to go. All right, so I've got all five of the trays in here now. Yahoo! There was another one that... Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. So what do you think, Bruce? Oh, I have 40 um, hours. 37.20. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'll see you back all right guys so it's finished um it's 28 hours and 44 minutes so i was like oh you know, we were both off let's hope they're done yeah i don't think 
I'm not going to say oh, that. Oh my goodness, yes they are. Probably slicing them so thin probably made them go a lot faster too. Wow, look at that. Look how beautiful they are. Come in close, Bruce. Check them out. Look. Even all that's done. Ooh, them trays. Ooh, it can get you. Look at that. All right, guys. So I got turn around, and I'm going to put the second trays in. And here, when I put those in, I'm going to bring you back before the end of the video. But I'm going to go ahead and get these all jarred up. And... I'm going to show you something else I got. Bruce is bringing in the uh, next trays. This is what I wanted to talk about. Look at here. You see these lids? I went out to my special refrigerator freezer and got them. Yeah. The, these um, uh, lids, which this one, um, I got a little crooked here. But uh, I had said to one day, I was like, oh, I saw John and Bibbs which if any of freeze dryer knows John and Bibbs and he had these lids and I was like, Oh, I wouldn't mind having some of those. Those are nice. And not even two days later, I get an email saying a shipment is coming my way from harvest, right? From Dave Barlow. From Dave Barlow. Yes. Shout out to Dave Barlow. Woohoo. And harvest, right? They did a great and harvest, job. Harvest, right? So, and then I was like, Oh, Bruce, I'm getting some of the lids. So, uh, Dave Barlow, if you're listening, I wouldn't mind a freeze dryer, an extra one, you know, just in case you got an extra one laying around somewhere. You know, one of those ones that needs a part or two. A scratch and dent, anything. <laughs> so, anyways, um, the lids came, and and it when the lids came, it wasn't one set, it was two sets. Two sets. And I was like, oh my. Because Dave must have known, he sold us our freeze dryer, so... He knew we had two sets of trays, so he, he he took care of us on that. So hats off to Dave and, and hope for a scratch and dent model. Just show up for Christmas. <laughs> That'd be a great Christmas present, Dave. But anyways, we, we are so happy with this. And we just took and put them outside because, of course, um, I'll let you know what has happened. And that winter is truly here. Winter in the UP. Yeah. It's start. It's already melted off most of the greenhouse, so I tried to get everything done before the uh, snow came. Yeah, but life happens. All right, so I'm just taking the lids off, and they aren't frozen, but they are, you know, just like really cold. I think the sun warmed them up some on the porch. But I'm, so I'm going back to back. So on, next week they will freeze but they i'm going to show you the jars when they're finished and i'll try to get this video up when we go um to pick up our pickles today for a big show this weekend so oh and the boys go back to school tomorrow they've been off for three days for deer, as they put deer day yeah. everything closes down for the opening of deer season all righty well, go for it, Bruce. Don't forget your pillow. <laughs> oh, Julie wanted to say hi. Say hi, Julie. She's hoping something good drops on the floor. Hmm. Oh, and look, guys, Rosie's not barking. <laughs> First time for everything. <laughs> All right, so so we're all set, guys. I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Very nice. Good job. All right. Good job.